Details, call 408-295-4200. On Friday, February 15th, from 8 to 10.30 p.m., the unique vocal guitar jazz duo Tuck and Patty will appear at the Napa Valley Opera House, 1030 Main Street, Napa. Doors open at 7 p.m. Tickets are $25 to $30. For details, call 707-226-7372. The community calendar is produced by members of the First Voice Apprenticeship Program. Send your listing at least three weeks in advance to KPFA Box 51, 1929 Martin Luther King Jr. Way in Berkeley, California, 94704. Or... Email us at calendar at kpfa.org. Please tell us if your event is wheelchair accessible. To hear this calendar again, call 510-848-6767, extension 621. This calendar is also online at kpfa.org. You're listening to KPFA, KPFB in Berkeley, or KFCF in Fresno or online at kpfa.org. We're at 7.01 p.m., and up next is Full Circle. Please stay tuned with us. Full Circle, yes, we roll. This is 360 degrees. High, high, 360 degrees. High, high, 306. 306. 360 degrees. High, high. Good evening and welcome to Full Circle, your cultural affairs radio magazine produced by apprentices of the First Voice Media Action Program. On tonight's show, we will feature local musicians. The artists you will hear tonight are Lullaby, she'll perform live with her ukulele, Renee Asteria with featured tracks off her new CD and talk about the upcoming CDs of another of her artists that will be premiering with her. Also, our deadline has been extended for those of you who want to become apprentices, and we'll tell you how to apply. And finally, uh, we'll hear a couple of my own tracks. I'm your host, Orca Raptalon. This is the Raptalonia Hour. Don't touch that dial. Got it. Welcome back to Full Circle here on KPFA. Now, most of my friends and family know that I'm not only a radio host and producer, a father, and also a small-time agriculturalist on occasion, but I also produce my own music. Now, there's something about producing music that gives you the freedom to express yourself, um, just like any any creature on this planet called Gaia. I've gone through my trials and my tribulations, and, you know, we have, like, visible proof of that we have a man out right now who's being hunted by the fbi the police and he just wants to express himself about what he feels is wrong um sometimes it's wrong that's gone in our own life um so my music likes to explore my actual mentality and like the things that i go through and it's i call it a new genre of music i call it deep hop because it's not hip-hop it might have an urban feel to it but it gets into the deep pit of your soul it takes you down into the Marianas Trench, if you will. My name's Orca Raptalon. I represent, you know, the orca, the largest dolphin in the world. It's my spirit animal. So for the first track, we're going to get into a track that I did recently. Um, it's helped me heal a lot. Uh, it goes out to any woman or any man who's going through the pain of losing a child, you know, before they even got here, you know, through missed carriage. And the song is called Tried. Uh, so give it a listen. We're going to get back to our studio afterwards. We'll get into talking with our first guest, Lullaby. She's going to talk about her music. She's going to give us a little bit of what she can do and why art is important to her. So, listen, I want you to enjoy live music. I want you to enjoy uh, what we call music. And, of course, it's locally grown. Worst of women go 
through To those who felt the pain or could love you Insides ripped out quite literally Make a woman question her fertility Life starts Maya in fragility First time, first born, quite possibly Miss Rap the line, putting on a few pounds Baby girl, maybe we should hit the gym now Work an album, but no stick man Morning come, no nausea or feeling sick And breast tender, time to remember She growing our gift on 25th of December Name would have been Jade, it means water dragon A Pisces like mommy and daddy if we'd have had them One day she just started to bleed Rushed to the hospital, Falcon type speed Indeed, there's a reason for her weight gain Ten week gestation, I'm like, stop playing Praise the earth, we about to have a baby The doctor looked at us and said, well maybe Sonogram shows a heartbeat so weak I'd be surprised if he laughed until next week And it's a Saturday, what could I say? My love looked at me with dismay Left ops, hoping for a miracle Tuesday came heavy bleeding and we hysterical The death pop, we swore we could foil it They gave her a drug, sucked him down to the toilet And we was devastated, we wanted him to make it We cried for weeks, we swore that we couldn't take it Nothing I could do but be there I felt destroyed, but I mean, how could she bear? But a woman's strongest being on this earth Just keep trying, we'll make it work Never met you, but we miss you, baby Should we hurry to try again, maybe? Just didn't seem right I know you Asian But damn boo Enough rice Rice could go on blast Like a stereo Couldn't keep it up It's like snow in Ontario I think you pregnant again She said no Time to flow To the local dollar store Clear blue take Like 20 bills to no Dollar tree 99 cents You good to go Two lines mean that One more time About to have a little us Same last name as mine Okay fine Trick a prenatal Again the doctor Tech dick something fatal Another Pisces To enter this world This time pretty sure It would have been a girl Isabel would have been Such a diva First born girl Wish we would have seen her Pretty like mom Conscious like dad Telling the folks The world shouldn't be sad But alas X type of pregnancy So what's the next one Romulus Number three The number four Kai what could it be That's when I started To think man Is it me Four times no child This is wild Meth addicts pump out babies Meanwhile We healthy No child given My lady starts to resent Pregnant women When she told me That I almost crumbled Need to get falling down Drunk in a stumble Only way to cope Are you okay Nope Should we adopt Is that our last hope Raise a nephew Then his mom When I'm back Kind of a to me as a final pack. Now she went a pickle, something she can't stand. I knew what this meant due to circumstance. She was child again, we knew more or less. I wanted on nine months, bed rest. Doctor visit twice a week, but stress. Will it work this time? What's we'll back? And once again, uh, welcome back. That was uh, one of my creations. It's called Tried. And I did that to basically, like, let the world know that when you lose a child, you know, regardless of if the child went full term. I mean, if the child was only three days old, when you lose a child, it's a, it's a traumatic um, thing. And I'm just happy that my daughter, Song Orchid, is here with me in the studio. She's out there. And she gets to hear music from, you know, local artists, you know, things that we created that means, like, that song has, like, reverence, reverence in her life. Like, that's her dad, you know, like, pouring his heart out about, you know, all the kids that weren't, and then she's here. Um, so, on that note, just to let, you know, people know how strong our, our music means to us and things that our music means to us, we're going to go to our first guest. She's a local artist that we had the first opportunity to meet at our parking lot sale last year. She blew my mind. Um, she just picked up this. She had a ukulele with her, and she's with a guy who was juggling. And, like, they had this act, like, a vaude, it was like vaudeville to me. That's when I saw them together. I felt like it's like vaudeville. But then she started belting out these lyrics and playing this ukulele. I felt like I was transported to Maui, like, instantly. Like, I could fly. Like, if anybody's seen the movie Chronicle, you know, they they I want to go to Maui. 
Maui? Like, it felt like I got flown to Maui in like five seconds flat. So she goes by Lullaby. And Lullaby, welcome to the KPFA Airwaves. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Um, What got you into doing music? What made you like want to be a musician? Or you got talent. What what awakened it? I don't know. I've been singing since I could talk pretty much, but I never I never thought that I could do anything with my music. I was in two choirs in high school and I'm a dropout. So when I left high school, I was like, I got to get a job. I got to hustle. I got to do all the things I got to do to make me some money because music's never going to be it. That is the the thing that I grew up believing for a while until I started traveling, like hitchhiking around the country. I've been homeless and like I was trying to find my way and what I wanted to do. And I ended up one night with a guitar in my hands mm-hmm. and remembered how much I loved singing and how much I really wanted to do that. And I needed to find an instrument to play so I could accompany myself. And I met a girl who played ukulele and she put it in my hand and it felt perfect. And that was three <laughs> years ago. Wow. And I've been doing it ever since. Wow. Well, how about you tell us the first song that you're going to play um, and tell us what it means to you? Okay, well, the first song I'm going to play is a new song that I've written recently called Good Advice. Um, I am friends with a guy in a local band. His name's Kevin Lash from Thunderground Collective. Thunderground Collective is the local uh, is the band that this guy's from. He's amazing, and I was uh, you guys should actually check out Thunderground. They're so amazing. I love them. But uh, I was talking to this guy about being in a terrible mood. I like. Uh, uh, February 17th is the anniversary of my mom passing. She died two years ago. Sorry. And that this has been really hard for me. And I was talking to him about, like, where my negativity was coming from. And he gave me some good advice. He said, try to feel better, and I'll try doing the same thing myself. Because wow. he was going through his own things, and he kept it circular. And I was so inspired by that that I had to write this song. Okay. So, I like that. This song's called Good Advice. Thank you, Kevin.
Thank you. Woo! Man, now that was a lullaby, and you said that's called trying to feel better. That's called good advice. Good advice. My bad. You know, she had me so much into the hook. I was sitting here by the end of it. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah, the, the hook, the part that's the part that's most important to me was a circular. Like, advice, try to feel better, and I'll try doing the same. Mm -hmm. We're putting out positive vibes from two souls to universe. Yeah. Like, I know you're hurting, I'm hurting too. We should try to feel better. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And, you know, it's weird that you said that about your mom passing two years ago, because a couple of days ago was the anniversary of my dad. Like, my dad's birthday, he would have been 60 years old. He passed on uh, April 27th of last year, but his birthday would have been uh, February 6th, 2013. He'd have been 60 years old. Oh. And um, that's the thing. Like, why do you think it's important that we t we talked about this earlier? Don't you think that, or tell me, do you think that there's something missing in music right now that's on the radio that our kids are listening to that uh, people are getting their hands on versus you know maybe a couple years ago? I feel like uh, today's music is missing a lot of substance. Like people aren't writing their own lyrics anymore. People aren't playing instruments anymore. People are getting by on their voices, which is not like the worst thing. I mean, I can't hate on any artist for doing what they do, but I'm just feeling like there's a huge gap in creation these days. You're relying too much on computers, too much on other people, and they're not bringing their stories to the table. Mm -hmm. There's like I I feel like music is it's expressing yourself so why aren't you telling your own stories instead of singing about someone else's yeah and as far as like you know when you when you create your songs and when you go out and you perform them have you performed anywhere or do you perform anywhere in the bay area and uh, where can people hear you more i i busk i play music in the street mostly okay. so you might catch me in any bart station at any given time i'm that girl you walk by all the time like you've heard me singing probably you wouldn't remember but next time you see a cute little girl that you could lately you should stop and check it out <laughs> i just you should listen to anybody playing music in the streets because that's where it's real you don't have to pay for it you like tip them for their appreciation mm -hmm. like for their efforts mm -hmm. it's not like going to a show it's not like going to a bar mm -hmm. it's like someone out there practicing and showing their arts to the world yeah and i like i'd haven't, I don't have anything lined up right now, but I want to get out to some open mics. But mostly, if you were to catch me anywhere, it'd be in the street, okay. on the sidewalk where I'm from. <laughs> okay. And do you have another song that you want to play for us? Is there something else that you could play and give us a more along the lines of like a more, uh, more, a more, a little, a little like put us, put us back with that lullaby. Give us another lullaby. I'd love to. The song is called the Bottle. It's a collaboration uh, between me and my sister writing about missing my mom like like i said before like she, mom she like inspired me so much and losing her was one of the hardest things and i've been healing so much through my music and i'm just happy to be here and blessed to be where i am right now in the seat in this radio station because i'm living my dream and this is what she would want it for me nice. so thank you for having me and the song's called the bottle dedicate this to you mama
was not anymore. Man, dang. <sighs> Listen, <Thank you. laughs> that was Lullaby again, and I just want to thank you so much for coming out and blessing us with this. Thank you so much for having me. You're so welcome. I know, um, let me tell you, not only are you destined for great things, uh, that was just put out into the atmosphere, so if there's any extraterrestrials up there right now, they're going to come across it. Uh, Beam me up. Basically, I'm waiting. That's what I said. I want them to come down. Let's and just go. Get, can you give me free reign over everything for like five minutes so I can straighten up the planet? I'm going to hitchhike the country. I want to hitchhike the galaxy That'd be now. nice. The hitchhiker's Star guide. hopping. Hitchhiker's guide, straight up. So, um, <laughs> once again, uh, is there a possibility that you could take us out with like an uh, excerpt, like go out with a nice, beautiful last song? I and, totally got one for you. Any, anything else you want to say to the listeners out there? Oh. Um, I just want to say thank you for listening, everybody. Thank you, my friends and family at home, for supporting me. Thank you, everyone, just for being born and being human and being love manifested. Do not forget that you are love made. You are love manifested. Every single one of you beings is a, is a spirit full of love. And that's, like, how you should carry yourself. It's uh, my opinion. Like, carry yourself with all the love in the world and give it to everybody because everyone needs it. I got a song I'm going to play. It's actually covered by one of my favorite girls, Sia Furler. It's just a huge, beautiful singer. Like, her voice is amazing. She's from New Zealand, and I, like, I love her music. Plus, I had a friend who really wanted me to play this song, so I have to, like, you know. Beam me up, Lily. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. <sighs> Play the victim perfectly, holding your beating heart. It used to be so smart, and you fled around the yard, making your magic. Woo. Thank you. Once again, that was Lullaby. Now, next up, be a selection of mine. Uh, it's called Dream Time. And then we'll get our next guest into the studio, Renee Asteria. Now, take a listen. This is called Dream Time. Yeah, with 
angel hunters moon above us, Hurricane Sandy. Time to go on a walkabout. Tsunamis in mouth. Dream time. Dream time. Dream time. Walk about the lines. I'm like Brendel, staring out my cave into the forest. My father, the king of all, an ancient chorus echo. The prime time, supreme sign, and dream time, I forage. I go with her, I'm gone, the icon harvest. Not Akon when I rhyme, I combine like gold tribe. Blue lion under the frozen lakes until the ice breaks. Mechanics of my semantics make time space erase. Retrace my footsteps, ain't nothing left. Excess the energy, become the entity to be creator of habitat. Now what's that? By no I clone, roam the outworld. That's the psilocybin and ayahuasca. Salvia chase the verbal acosta. Defeat the monster, spirits debate. I sponsor dream warriors, soaring the skies with thunderbirds and dragons. Render of fate, returns of the great gods, closest to affiliate, most hate, but just. Wait, wait, the white Dream Time by yours truly, Orca Raptalon. The song is basically a um, title track off of my, well, I'm a mixer. I mix a lot of albums, and I've been doing music since, since I was seven years old. And I basically have about eight albums, like, in some stage of, like, putting them together. And Dream Time is supposed to be, like, my eighth and final album. I have this dream of releasing everything at once. Like, like just, like, Spock getting shot out of this spaceship, you know. he Among, among everyone his soul was the most human something like that you know so <laughs> that's like that's my dream but that brings me to our next guest and that's renee uh teria right asteria asteria excuse me asteria Thanks. and uh i've been slaughtering that all day <laughs> um now we're going to talk about a little bit about your cd but like you have a cd baby uh description and uh, it was like some debate on whether we should use it because I know as an artist, you're constantly changing and you're constantly uh, evolving. Is what you have here still relevant? If I like touched on it, you know, a fusion of early, no doubt, Sade, musics, uniting reggae, passionate Latin grooves and rock, powerful message and musical genius. Is that still you? Musically adventurous. That's what you like to be described yeah, as. Yeah, pretty much that. I just tried to put some keywords in there, you mm -hmm. know, so people can recognize it's so hard to to categorize yourself, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, I I don't, um, I mean, obviously, I have influences from all over the place, but my primary influences are from my you know from my elders pretty mm -hmm. much you know um any specific artist um you know the really great artists bob marley the beatles like mozart yeah but those artists mentioned in particular maybe not exactly it's just more of a marketing thing mm -hmm. but the fusion and trying to be just 
experiment with with all types of of music is what I what's it about. And when you say those artists, uh, you say a Sade. You know. No, I mean I respect them. Yeah. No doubt. No, no doubt. But um, I I guess I don't necessarily want to compare my myself mm-hmm. to them. But um, as I said, like often in com- when you're trying to commercialize something, you mm-hmm. have to. You have to put some famous person's name, and this is what people have said: "Oh, you sound a little bit like this, or you sound mm-hmm. a little bit like that." And they're sort of quite opposite, actually. Yeah. So, um, like, I, I think they're wonderful. Don't don't get me wrong, but mm-hmm. um, again, just to to say, um, you know, I, I'm me. <laughs> you sound yeah, because your sound is definitely you. But when you say like when you use those names, some of the some of the esque, you know, like esque. Right comes out but at the same time you're definitely your own artist and i listen to most of the cd and i have to say that your tracks have like this very very like uh celestial slash jovial slash like seriousness to them <laughs> and it makes you want to dance and it makes you want to like jam but at the same time it makes you want to think right right so i don't know it's, it's a really good sound it's a really good match you know thank you thank you so we're going to start with the first track off of your uh new cd which there is a album release party coming up soon right yeah east bay album release party at the ashkenaz okay february 28th 28th day after my birthday yeah. god <laughs> so bad. um so and it's the name of the album is masras masras it's mm. like masrasteria mm-hmm. it's like a play on words because rasteria is my band name okay uh and m-a-z you know mas mas in spanish mas rasteria since about half the albums in spanish so okay. yeah <laughs> and the track is kairo Vinchuca. 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 Okay. It's uh, actually an insect that transmits a disease called Chagas disease. Okay. Um, and it was inspired. <laughs> wow. It was inspired by uh, when I was working in Argentina as a research assistant. Um, a- and y- you basically do a survey of risk factors of having populations of this bug in your house in the rural, you know, rural areas. Okay. And um, we had to repeat the same thing all over and over again. An visto Vinchuca. Have you seen the Vinchuca? La Negro. La Rubita, mm-hmm. the black one or the blonde one, one transmits this disease called Chagas disease and the other doesn't. Oh. So basically it's this massive campaign. So the guys in my team were like, why don't you write a song about it? So that's how it came wow. out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Notes to self. And in Argentina, be careful. Well, this is in the rural area. Well, the rural I'm areas a, all over South America. That but, would be me. If, um, I was in, if, I was in, if I was in South America, I want to be in the rural areas. And so now I yeah. know. You know, it's right up there with the, tem, the what is it, Temberu. Don't, don't ever swim in the rivers with Without making sure you're covered up, right? Because right. of that parasitic catfish. Ooh. So um, it climbs up the orifice. Yes, it Ooh. does, and then spikes so they can't get Ooh. back out. Yeah. yeah. So let's hear a little bit of it. All right. Wow. La vinchuca. La vinchuca. <laughs> yeah. wow, I never heard it.
Sorry, we were sitting here talking. Um, what is it? Entomology, and uh, that was that was the beautiful sounds of Rasteria, and the first track off of Maz Raz, uh, Vinchuka. Vin, <laughs> Vinchuka. Vinchuka. Man, okay. So uh, let's tell me a little bit about this album release party. It's not just you releasing your album, right? Right. It's also a band called Samatis, okay. and they fuse. Uh, Afro-Peruvian with Brazilian with funk with other urban styles and um, they're excellent a um, lot of percussion really beautiful harmonies uh, Saint Matisse that's their name means Saint, Saint in French blood Matisse is mixture so it's um, basically um, fusion uh, fusion of, of blood you know blood fusion so and, mixture of blood and who's the uh, members uh, Yurisa Jared, okay. Eddie Cabezas, uh, they have like nine members. Wow. Um, Miriam Speyer, Joey Castellanos, and about like five percussion players, um, and Maya Finley. And this album, from which you're going to hear the first track, which is called Viva la Musica, was actually produced by the Women's Audio Mission in, um, in San Francisco, and they, they won a grant to, to do this. Wow. So, um, they're really, really talented. Wow. Um, and, and also during, at the CD release. It's February 28th coming up at the Ashkenaz. Um, there's going to be a samba group, uh, Amor du Samba. It's going to start with a samba class, a Latin dance class, Afro Latin dance class, um, Tani de Amor. And uh, one more other artist is going to be there, uh, Empress Meditations. It's a group of um, four, four women, uh, primarily reggae. Um, Queen Makeda, Ira Divine, myself, and then Sol Atash will be there too. So okay. <laughs> this first track is called Viva la Musica, Samatis. So as far as this track itself, does it have like any like significance? Well, Viva la Musica is like... Um, Live music. live music yeah live um just let so it's pretty much about you know life and music <laughs> so like, I like dude i wish they were here to talk about that <laughs> themselves well i think it speaks for itself <laughs> that's what we're trying to do tonight we're yeah. living music so i'm gonna get into that track right now it's <laughs> awesome
was Viva La Musica by San Matisse. San Matisse. I love that name. It's a beautiful name. So let's talk a little bit more about the album release party. Uh, tell them exactly where it is and sure. what day, like what day, what time. It's February 28th, that's a Thursday, at the Ashkenaz, 1317 San Pablo Avenue. And you can get exact directions on ashkenaz.com. And um, it's starting showtime is, uh, oh, doors are at 8, 8.30 p.m., dance class, showtime at 9. Okay. And right now, if you want to call in and get the uh, two, well, a pair of tickets and Whoever calls in and gets that pair of tickets, they'll also get both CDs, both of their new CDs that they are releasing on the 28th at Ashkenaz. Uh, and that number is 510-848-4425. Once again, that's 510-848-4425. Let's say caller three gets them. Caller three gets the beautiful music that we've heard tonight. Now, uh, one more thing I want to talk to you. Your music has like this, this flair, like it's a, uh, I don't know, it's like we were just talking about, once again, I hate to go back to entomology, but we were talking about <laughs> the bug and it seems like, uh, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a, a, of a biological theorist. And I was saying that being that this bug transmits a, a, a parasite that does maybe not the same thing as African sleeping sickness, but the African kissing bug also transmits a, a disease by, you know, feeding on blood at night. And we said, you know, that connection, uh, that I can feel like almost the Afro connection inside of that as far yeah, as like yeah. the way the, the music goes. And mm -hmm. uh, do you feel that that's something that's important that we should realize that, you know, not to toot the horn of the motherland, but the motherland is the birthplace of all music. Yeah, I mean, everything, mm -hmm. everything, everything, you know, everything, you know, I think that's a piece of history that's just not, <laughs> it's, it is, that's where history, exactly. like our history began, you know, mm -hmm. and I haven't been, I haven't been to Africa yet, you know, but I want to go, um, and um, I've been to South America many times, and um, there's something, there's just something I don't know. There's something something that just draws you. Um, so hopefully one day. But I I'm right there with you. You will yeah. trust me. Yeah. You will. We all will. Yeah. We're all going sooner <laughs> or later. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the next song that we're going to hear. Okay. Where was your mind at when you made this? Immaterial. One? It's yes. called Immaterial, and it's actually the first one that I fully recorded and produced on my own. Wow. Um, so all drums, everything, everything done at my my studio. So um, Immaterial. This is about so existential questions we have, and oftentimes all the material gets in our way. Mm -hmm. You know, we're worried about our car payments, worried about you know how are we going to pay for this or that or try to you know get to work and get back so we can sleep or whatever it is mm -hmm. um it's just basically reminding us that that we are you know our essence is immaterial and we need to appreciate that mm -hmm. um and that we cannot be replaced but everything material can be so to just try to put things in perspective um and so you know, I I sometimes I'm the kind of person who wants to basically get rid of everything. Mm. Sometimes I just get overwhelmed. I just want to sell everything and just leave with a backpack and my guitar or whatever and just go walking. Artist, <laughs> you know? that's the artist. So, that's the artist. Um, but um, you know, the more you know, you get older, you get more responsibilities, more material things, yeah. and um, yeah. So just basically, that's what the song is about. Okay. Immaterial. <laughs> You cannot be replaced You cannot be
thing with artists you might have heard us talking um but you know we, we we our minds wander and like our music helps us with that and once again i just want to thank renee for coming in and sharing her beautiful music with oh, us thank you thank you so much for having me on your bandmates yeah. they're awesome i mean not your bandmates but your your, your soon to be collaboratees they're awesome um i really maybe i'll have to try to do something that comes to the party because i really want to go and also <laughs> i want to give a shout out to william from richmond he won the tickets and the cds nice. so much love to william uh I hope you enjoy it uh, like I do. It's I beautiful music. It for sure. Beautiful yeah. music. Eh? Thank you. Thank you for see coming. You on in. The, see you on the 28th. See you on the 28th, <laughs> hopefully, definitely. If I'm still alive. My 27th, my, my 35th birthday, once again. I don't know how coherent I'll be afterwards, but <laughs> let's hope. I want to go. <laughs> let's hope, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. You guys enjoyed the Raptalon Hour. That was the Raptalonian Hour, excuse me. Um, and that was just a little bit of our taste and our appreciation for you guys. We want you guys to hear some fresh music. And just to let you guys know, the apprenticeship program is now accepting applications again. Come learn radio skills. Once again, um, there's a time requirement just to let you know. You're going to have to spend some time here. Uh, normally, they say it's about what? Uh, let's see. You have a two-hour two um, class every Tuesday and Wednesday. I mean, excuse me, Tuesday and Thursday. And you also have a day shift, which you're normally here for about, if I'm not mistaken, f you know, a couple of hours. You know, um, it's Tuesday. It's gonna be, no, it's Monday. I'm, I'm messing up. It's Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, all of these things are part of the actual commitment that you make to us to come here. You get to learn uh, how to do, you know, Production and just if you don't believe me, I have someone, uh, an esteemed panelist, on the mic. Also, his name is Free Will and Franklin. You oh, heard that's him. Me. You heard him on shows like Flashpoints. You've heard him on shows like Full Circle. You've heard him on shows uh, like Bay Area Native Circle. He's been on everywhere. Saturday. So I've been on the talkies a couple times. He's been on. The, he's he's hosted the talkies when 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 Mrs. When Mrs. Welsh takes a sabbatical. She puts the will in Franklin's hands. I've he, been there before. And he was once actually an apprentice. So tell him a little bit more, Frank. Well, I just wanted to say a um, big shout out and thank you to everybody that rushed and got their applications in today. And like what seems to happen a lot, we're going to extend the deadline to give a few more people a chance. Indefinitely. Indefinitely while this fun drive goes on. So keep posted to Full Circle. Watch our webpage, kpfaapprentice.org. If you felt like you wanted to get your application in and you didn't have time, you got at least a couple more weeks. Uh, we're going to be dipping into the fun drive pretty soon. So make sure you go to kpfaapprentice.org, download the application. You can stop by here at the station, 1929 Martin Luther King Jr. Way, any weekday between 9 and 5 p.m., 9 a.m., 5 p.m., we can hand you an application. Just do what you got to do to try to get it. If you were feeling it, you still have a little more time. Sorry for the people we rushed, <laughs> but um, we want to get a good pool of applicants, and we're going to be dipping into the fun drive coming up, so we really want to give people a chance. We're not going to be able to promote so much, so if you know someone that was feeling it and they haven't done it, they got a chance. And like Orca said, it's about 20 hours a week. You'll do some community service to the station on a day shift, a Monday, Thursday, or a Friday. And you'll also be taking two classes at night, 7 to 9.30 p.m., where you'll be getting taught basics of radio and even more than the basics as you progress. Exactly. So go to kpfaapprentice.org, download the application, stop by the station if you have to. You can also call 510-848-6767, extension 235. Leave a message with your address there. We can mail you an application. Just do what you got to do to get it. Uh, Email us at apprentice uh, at kpfa.org. Um, you can do, we, we have all these things, you know, that these things that we learned, I mean, 
I, I praise them because I'm thinking about starting my own radio station. I, I have like these dreams and aspirations and I feel like if you want to take part in those types of dreams, create a new family here. That's something else. It's about community building. Uh, you can learn so much and, and you, you come out with friends that are like lifelong friends, honestly. Uh, so once again, the KPFA apprenticeship program has been extended indefinitely. Uh, you can call us at 848-6767, extension 235, and that's 510 once again. And uh, also, I would like to let you know that you know, at the end of our fund drive, please be sure to call in and donate. At the end of our fund drive, I will be giving you a treat. It'll be my show. It's going to be called uh, Guy. It's going to be called a uh, Life on Earth: Descendants of Gaia. Be sure to tune in for our uh, our shows in the coming weeks. And that brings us to the end of tonight's show. I'm your host, Orca Rapalon, and this has been the Raptalonia Hour. Once again, I'd like to thank our guest, Renee Asteria. As also, Lullaby. Be sure to tune in next Friday, KPFA 94.1 FM. We'd like to thank our producer, executive producer, Ms. M, our fabulous technical director, Frank Sterling, as well as Joy Moore, our production consultant. Our intro music is by Source of Labor. Our outro music is by B. Tandre. If you have more questions or topics for future shows, give us a call at 510 8486767 extension 235 look once again that's where you call if you want to become an apprentice also or send us the email at full circle at kpfa I mean excuse me at full circle at kpfa.org and we love your feedback please let us know what you think I really like to thank Neil for holding it down on the controls once again our musical guest everyone in the studio please stay tuned for La Onda Bajita Lately, have you been in a cafe, a bar, a meal of friends maybe, when the conversation suddenly lurches into, well, just how everything has become so head-smack horrible, environmentally, politically, our future, you know, what do we do with that? KPFA's own Sasha Lilly has seriously smart answers. She's co-written an urgent book called Catastrophism, The Apocalyptic Politics of Collapse and Rebirth. Christian Parenti says it is a superb antidote to the unproductive politics of fear. Sasha will discuss this in a different future on Sunday evening, February 17th, 7 p.m. at a KPFA benefit hosted by Brian Edwards Teekert at the Congenial Hillside Club, 2268 Cedar Street in North Berkeley. There's wheelchair access. Advanced tickets, $12 through brownpapertickets.com or supportive bookstores. Full info on the KPFA website. For Sasha Lilly, Catastrophism, February 17th. Get recharged. And you are tuned in to 94.1 KPFA in Berkeley, 89.3 K.